Uh, I need all the wins, yeah Ain't no hands, gotta get a no cow on the quiz, yeah Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah Better move out the way cause I'm coming with harder hits My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all it is You, better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out Hey guys, it's Kyle from Angle ATV and Outdoors I'm a brand ambassador for Fintrail uh, They make all sorts of gear, waders, uh, snowmobile suits, you name it They approached us about making a quick video because they were very curious about the wrap Specifically the wrap on Project Menace This is the first time I've ever actually wrapped something So it was quite the adventure for me But I learned a lot and I thought I'd share that with you guys um, So Fintrail was curious as to why we did the vinyl And there's a few reasons that I think it's different for everyone For me it was style, basically I had a vision for the machine and I wanted it to be a certain way and depict certain things and it was easiest to just make it a wrap. So I wanted Canadian details, I wanted my coloring to be a little more obvious instead of just the original paint. I wanted the people that supported me, I wanted the name, uh, I wanted all these things quickly expressed, right? So when you're on the trail and people see you, they know exactly what you've got going on and what you're trying to say. So with this kind of being the current flagship of Mainville TV, that's the biggest reason why I wanted vinyl. There's more pros to it. Uh, one of them is obviously protecting your machine. Uh, one of the big things is uh, you'll have paint, right? And the vinyl can actually protect quite a bit. Like this door panel, for example. Underneath this is a big painted card. And if you apply this correctly, it can actually be removed and underneath will be really good paint. So in my example, if I ever sold this machine, I would want to probably get rid of my name for that person unless they wanted it. Underneath is perfectly good paint, assuming you did it correctly. Um, so if you put too much heat or too much glue, or there's some people who use like, um, like a resin underneath, that can make it stuck way too much. So there is cons to that too. I'm not an expert. I've only done one wrap and you're looking at it, but it turned out pretty good. Um, so again, style points, uh, a little bit of protection. There's, there's a few things, but ultimately that's what it came down to for me. So uh, one of the things I was asked is uh, what vinyl would you use? What wrap would you use? There's a lot of different kinds. In power sports, you're going to see a bit of a pattern. So in power sports, they use very thick vinyl, incredibly thick vinyl. You shouldn't be able to grab a lip like that. This stuff is, is super, super thick on purpose, right? So if you see snowmobiles and you see side by sides that are wrapped, more often than not, they're that thick, really uh, bristol board sounding kind of uh, thickness vinyl. They do that obviously because of what they have to go through and sticks and branches, mud, ice. I've had this thing in ice in the mountains, like scratching the living crap out of the side and it's perfectly fine. So it has to be as durable as possible. Pretty much everyone in the power sports community and, the, and doing vinyl is gonna be using some of that material. So it's fairly standard. If you find a lesser material, trying to be careful, get a, get a test piece and see if you like it. You should see like that, that nail thickness, like super thick stuff. So I went with Barrett Designs. I contacted him. He's out of British Columbia here. Um, and the reason why I went with him is he has a great reputation. He's also Canadian. So I was trying to support as much as I could locally uh, or American as much as I could in this build. Really crucial for me. And I'm, I'm really fortunate I found him because he had a design for me. He understood what I wanted and he got it out quickly. So he had the graphics. He sent it off to the States and they printed the vinyl. And I'm happy, very, very happy with the results of that. Now, when it comes to cost, I've never shied away from talking about numbers. You're looking at like 650 to $700. Now, that deal can be different for anyone. It can be dependent on your machine, shipping rates, are materials available. So the number's kind of irrelevant based on what you might need, but it shouldn't blow your mind to see anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars keeping in mind this is canadian pesos so if you're us that's like 40 dollars or something one of the next questions that i've actually received a few times and fincherell hit on again is how was it to do how was the install so as my first wrap i can tell you that it was time consuming and you need to be patient that's pretty much the biggest thing Patience is key and I did lose it once. Luckily my amazing cameraman saved the day. I'll actually show you the spot. I'm um, trying not to uh, It's a little dirty. I'm sorry 
But right here, okay, when I stuck this piece of this panel, there was a lot of things to consider. So you're gonna see like, there's probably 15 different curves and angles on this door. It's not as easy as it looks. It's not just one piece. So we actually lined up like a corner and another identifying spot. And then we kind of worked our way out. The problem was where I stuck it, it became like too late. Once you put pressure on the adhesive, it's pretty much there for good unless you like heat it and work it. So where I placed it wasn't exactly where we needed it and it really screwed up this corner right here. But Drake came in and literally worked piece by piece and applied heat and worked it and worked it. So you can see it has a little bit of warp here, but that's nothing compared to what happened over here. So definitely save the day. This stuff is quite good at being manipulated. So if you're patient, uh, you can do it on your own, no problem. I highly suggest if you're working with big pieces like though, like this though, is to have a friend with you. Uh, second set of eyes, second set of hands. Like if you're stuck holding this thing and you don't want more of it to lay down, like you're gonna need someone to run around and grab, you know, the heat gun or whatever you need, some soap. That is another thing that brings up actually is some people like to put it on dry or use soap. We put it all on dry and we have a video for that. I'm not gonna go into every detail. I just wanted to let you know that that video exists and you should go have a look and see what we learned all the way through. I just didn't wanna jam 20, 30 minutes worth of content right in this, so. It can be done. It can be done as a first timer. I highly suggest, suggest finding a friend like my camera guy here, Drake. He has done something similar, not to this size, but he definitely knew how to work it right away. I know that's a pretty brief video on what's going on, but like I said, there's a whole other video for this if you wanna see step by step, front to back, and you have 30 minutes of time to spend if you have any more questions, you can leave them down below. I'll try to answer what I can. Uh, I also have, obviously, Drake here who can answer probably a little bit better than me. I hope this answered some of your questions. And big thank you to Fintrail for all the support. And they're always asking interesting questions. They wanted to make this video happen so that people like you could know just a little bit more. And I think that's pretty awesome. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Watch out, set it up. Bet you I shut it down. Watch out, get a win. I don't think they really want to come. I guess the winner got a finger run up in on a grenade. I ain't never been there when you think you can pay it. I'm a line, but the winner about the cage. I need all the wins. Yeah. Pay no L's. I gotta get a no call to quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. Better move out the way because I'm coming with harder hits. My head is as hard as a brick, but I'm harder than all it is. Get ready. And uh, just kind of slide some sick footage in there for you. So uh, let's get into it. That sucked. Ass yeah, we're hey guys, it's Kyle from Made the Late to the and Outdoors, uh, and I'm a brand ambassador of the fucking shit balls. Assholes. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Kyle from Made the Late to the and Outdoors. Uh, I'm a brand ambassador. I did that again. I can't believe how it. Okay.